Or the story of our band is trying. Do you have the feeling that you created a, a, a world for yourself with your music as well? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it's it's harder when you're a new band because you don't have as much material and as much stuff going on. But we've definitely like you know gone in that direction just in terms of like you know some of the artwork and stuff. Like Jerem does the artwork and kind of trying to make a make a better uh, a bigger aesthetic. You know, just beyond just the um, songs. But some sometimes I feel like it's hard for a new band, especially like with videos, because people not everybody's listening to you yet. Like the people you work with, you know, they sometimes. You don't get to do everything you want all the time, which is what you have to do to be able to create a, like a unified like thing. Everything you do is looks like something you did, you know. But that's definitely what we want to do and try to do. Okay, and the artwork has uh, the cover has four covers mm -hmm. in front. Did you have difficulties to choose or? Um, no, I, I mean I guess I was doing um, I was doing like little proofs to try to find a cover that we all really liked, and then. Um, I was talking to Ben one day, and he just said, "Well, let's let's just try four, put them all together." And um, we really liked that because we had never seen an album that had four covers. Um, also, sort of fits the theme of Mind Chaos, mind fits, yeah, yeah, which is sort of everybody's going to have their favorite. The world is splitting into a million beautiful tiny pieces, and um, it's almost like the four. Um, they're um, an, an evolution of humankind into mind chaos or something like that. It's like traces the history of the world and the history of humanity and ends in this little scribble. Okay. So that's what mind chaos is. Yeah. Yeah. When did you become interested in uh, illustrating? Uh? Um, I guess I'd always done our artwork just as a hobby going back to when we were still in college. Um, I don't know where it came from, really. Um, I didn't go to school for it or anything, but it's just a hobby, I guess, something I like doing. Um, I actually, uh, I studied for a semester in Berlin when I was 21, and uh, I really got into art there for some strange reason. I didn't know exactly why, but... Okay, but music always have been your preference above... above uh, uh, both, I guess, yeah. I mean, I've been playing music for a long time, yeah, but... Um, yeah, art's just a, a fun way to... Um, add some creativity and some aesthetic that's from the same creative source as the rest of the music. So you have sort of a visual aesthetic to go along with the whole vibe, which I, I think is cool. And it's, I just have fun doing it, really. It's just kind of whatever. It's something I enjoy, I guess. So. Can you remember what the first song was for Bucky that you've ever written? Um, it was called... Uh, Last of My Wealth. It was like a piano ballad. Yeah. yeah. Sounded like Elton John. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when, when did you first uh, yeah, learn from yourself that did, did, did you have, had the ca capability to, uh, to write and comp compose songs? Um, it's really just kind of like a slow process of trying. Um, just, yeah, just trying and getting better at it. It wasn't like um, an epiphany one day where you wrote like a great song and then, you know, it took. It was our, our story of our band is trying all the time. And how did the, the, that first song, that Elton John like song, evolved into the music that you make today? Um, just just like um, we've written a lot, a lot of songs over the time, and and we and and one of the goals at some point would, we, was like to make a kind of party atmosphere, like to be able to play parties and have let people have a good time. So that's where we kind of shifted away from morning piano ballads because it doesn't work, obviously. So that's like that was like the idea that kind of led towards our sound. 